to quote or to apostrophe. Now, in the last lesson, we briefly talked about the difference between that, but in this lesson, I want to actually explain a little more in detail about what the quote or what the apostrophe does. So in PHP, and I'm just going to open up my tags here. In PHP, we can say name is equal to Caleb. You know what? I'm bored of using my name. I'm going to use my cat's name. Zephyr, because he's pretty awesome. Uh, yes, I'm a programmer with a cat. That stereotype is true. It's real. So I could say echo name. Um, yeah, I could say echo name, or I could say echo name. And this will really just say Zephyr Zephyr. Just like this, Zephyr Zephyr. But if I wanted to put his name into a sentence, my cat is, and he is, let's put color in there. Color is equal to gray. My cat is Zephyr, he is gray. Period in there, so that'll, <laughs> it's a proper sentence. Okay, cool, that works. But if we use regular quotations, it now displays not only the actual variable name, um, but the variable color as well. And we don't really want to ever, for the most part, um, talk about the variables as, as their names. We want their variable values. And so that's the difference between these two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fix this up. So if you're ever looking at this code a little later, uh, you'll see the difference. Cool. So that's the difference. Now, even though we have that, let's turn that to a break. Okay, but now what happens if you have a sentence that has a quote in there? For example, echo, um, let's think of a quote, do or do not, there is no try, Yoda. Okay. Pretty typical, we know all about this already. But if we wanted to add a quote in here so that it actually looked like a quote, this is gonna cause a problem because now I've got an empty string, I've got no concatenation in here, and over here I've got, it's trying to concatenate something. Like it doesn't understand that this is not a, a constant, it's not a variable, it doesn't know what this is yet. And it's trying to concatenate it with the rest of the sentence. This is several errors in one. So what do we do? This is called escaping. So when we have quotations on the outside, quotations on the inside, as you can see in the title up here, all you do is put a backslash in front of it, save it, and there we go, it works. That backslash will not show up because all that backslash is saying, this thing right here, it's saying, render this as normal. Don't think of this as a programming quotation, think of this as a sentence quotation to display. And likewise, we can do the same thing with a regular quote. So I've just selected all of those. And I've replaced those with regular quotes or apostrophes. And hold on one second. Let's go ahead and copy that in there so that there's some formality, some formatting, rather not formality. Do or do not, there is no try. Again, quotations work. Now, you can also use the opposites in here. You don't have to stick with the same one. So you could use quotations in here and apostrophes on the outside. That would work absolutely. And one sec, I'm just gonna make some room to breathe here. PHP gives us unlimited white space, meaning that it doesn't charge us. It doesn't cost us extra to have white space. So uh, I prefer to have some of it a little more open just for legibility purposes. Okay, so this one works as well. So I've got the uh, apostrophe on the outside and I've got a quote on the inside that works and the exact opposite of that will work as well. Now why is this important? Because if we said do or do not try and let's say Zephyr said this it now says name because I'm using the wrong type of quote in here. So now I have to do one of two things. I need to concatenate this. Make this a little smaller so you can see it again. I need to concatenate this. Now this is starting to look a little bit messy. But if I refresh, it says Zephyr. Or, I'm going to undo that. I can swap out the apostrophes for quotations. 
see how long it took me to do that. That kind of sucks. Having to do that a lot is not fun work. Or I can use these types of quotes inside where I'm escaping them. Remember, that's called escaping. Save, and that works. So that's the difference between basically your quotations and your apostrophes. Now, your task for this lesson is very, very, very simple. Don't worry about all this other stuff that I did. Just do the first two. Just write these two sentences out. My cat name, that is not even a thing. It's my cat's name. My cat's name is, and then I want you to use this sentence with regular apostrophes and use the other one with regular quotations and notice the difference. Now, the reason we're learning this one is because in the future, you're going to stumble on, on something like this. Like, why, why is my variable name actually showing up and why is the variable value not showing up? This is why. This is the only reason that this will ever happen to you.